Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today is the day. It's the battle of the YouTube puzzlers. Yes, I will be representing New Zealand and facing off against Jeanette and her puzzles from Slovenia, Jigsaw Juby from Australia, Addicted to Puzzles Judy from the United States, and Vicky Makes and Builds from the United Kingdom. We all got our hands on the same jigsaw puzzle and right now we're all releasing our videos all at the same time we've not told each other how long it took us to build the jigsaw puzzle so i have no idea after this video is done i'm gonna go watch all of theirs i'll leave links to their videos in the description below so please go check them out go watch their videos as well but no spoilers in the comments just love and words of encouragement that would be greatly appreciated. I also know that many of you went out and bought the jigsaw puzzle because we announced this on Instagram and on our community tab here on YouTube. So we'd like to know how you did as well. We created a very simple Google form. The link will also be in the description below. Just enter your name, your country, and the time it took you to do the jigsaw puzzle. And just remember, this is all for fun. So I'll leave that form open until February 28th, 2023. And then in March, we'll do posts and we'll have everyone's times listed. So what's the puzzle? Now the jigsaw puzzle in question, I haven't really looked at it. I'll put a bigger image up on the screen because I've left the plastic wrap on and I know you might have some glare from the lights. I think this is quite a busy image. It might be to my benefit because I enjoy busy images. There's not a lot of solid color areas. I'm kind of happy about that. I haven't really studied it though. So I, my initial plan is going to be in my initial plan that I always have try to build as I sort during the time lapse. I'll talk about the process, what I'm doing, if I changed anything, how I felt, and we'll just go from there because I don't know what to expect. I personally would like to beat my best 500 piece speed puzzling time, which was an hour and 50 minutes. I think for me, this is an easier image than what that image was. It was a photograph of a dog and there were some out of focus areas and the fur, the fur on those dogs was just a lot. So I think for me, this will be an easier image. I don't know though. I'm probably jinxing myself. But my personal goal here is to try to beat that time of an hour and 50 minutes. So we'll see how I do. Before I just keep rambling and rambling for the love of puzzles, let's see how I do with my first battle of the YouTube puzzlers. So my initial plan was to try to build as much of the jigsaw puzzle as possible, grabbing every piece out. And I quickly felt overwhelmed and nervous and I decided no, focus. So I focused on the two baskets. There's a basket with flowers, a basket with dogs, and also the bike, like the main components of the bike, any border piece that I found in which I could put in its approximate location. Great. And I, the thing was, I tried to do the fence right away, but if it was just fence with flowers, I was like, Nope. So on the side, you can see a pile of like the dog pieces the lighter fence pieces because it's white towards the top the darker fence pieces at the bottom and then i also separated like the grass and flowers that i thought went towards the bottom and like the yellow flowers that went towards the top and so they're in a pile at the top there and so once i focused more on a few limited things and just decided to sort the other pieces i felt better and in fact you can see in the corner the box i eventually even were sorting pieces and left them in the box. So there's bicycle pieces that I couldn't tell right away where they went. And then some other flower pieces, I couldn't tell right away where they went. And maybe I was just nervous because I know there's so many do people doing this jigsaw puzzle. But once I focused in on a few places, like I did the bunnies, um, the two baskets, most of the bike, and you see it's coming along nicely. And then with the border pieces, and as I finding other pieces that I can quickly place, I throw them in as well. I am building the little doggy at the bottom. 
And it's getting there. I mean, I see it coming together and the more pieces I place, the easier it is. Then once I had sorted through all the pieces in the box, I went and finished all the bicycle pieces that I had, the ones that were a bit trickier to figure out. And that went pretty smoothly. Then I concentrated on the fence. I did the darker parts of the fence at the bottom. Then I moved to the dog got the dog fur done, which wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I tried to then do the white, um, the flowers at the bottom as best as I could. And then the fence pieces, like the pieces with white in it, if it was white flowers or white fences. And actually the top part where there's the little lake and those flowers at the end, that's what I did at the end. And it wasn't too bad. I Speed puzzling a Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle is really quite enjoyable because there's so many variety of pieces. It was great. And I was so pleased with my time. Now the only thing you'll notice in that video is I'm using my new GoPro camera because it can record for hours and I don't have to reset the video every 30 minutes. However, my GoPro does not like the main light above my puzzling table. It causes banding and flickering, and I've played with the settings, but I'm no pro. So I actually brought in an electrician, and we're just going to replace the light. It's not a great light, and it's not bright enough. So that video, you'll see, was a bit dark. Right now, we're watching a video with my Canon camera. The light, it doesn't be bothered with it. It doesn't cause banding. So that's why it's brighter. So please bear with me on my speed puzzling videos until I get the new light fix. But there you go, that's how I did. I am so happy right now. I was really hoping to beat that one hour, 50 minute time. And I did, I, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. So I have a few thoughts. Um, let me just, Turn that off for a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I don't know what to think. One hour, 16 minutes and 50 seconds, was it? I'm so pleased with that. I'm so absolutely pleased. I've been waiting a few minutes to film the outro because I was just so tongue-tied and excited. Now, for me, I feel this was an easier image. I enjoy this type of image. And... What I've noticed is that I've been speed puzzling a lots of different brands in preparation for my upcoming competition. Robin's Burger Jigsaw Puzzles are by far the friendliest when it comes to speed puzzling because their piece shapes, um, they have, you know, the regular standard shapes we are all familiar with, but they're, they got character, you know, you can look for a piece and go, oh, that one has like a little funky shape there and oh, you can find it. For example, perhaps I'm not explaining this well, I did a solid color sky from Clementoni and a solid color sky from Ravensburger and the Ravensburger one was 10 times easier than the Clementoni one. Even though Clementoni still had all the variety of piece shapes, they're very cut in a very similar way. Not to the point you would get false fits, but that it was it was difficult. So hands down, Robin's Burger Jigsaw Puzzles for Speed Puzzling is the way to go. So I wonder if I did a full sort first without starting to build and then grabbed piles and built, if that would be faster than my build as I sort technique. What I really want to do is try to find two Ravensburger 500 piece jigsaw puzzles that are similar in style. Obviously, I don't want them identical. And I want to do one as a speed run with my build as I sort technique and one where I force myself to sort all the pieces first and then build. And I wonder if there would be a significant difference in time. I think if it was five, seven minutes difference, not too much, that I would say is not too significant. But if we got like 10 or 20 minute difference in time, then yeah, one technique could be better than the other. What do you think? Fully sorting, then building, or my sort as I build technique? Now, I know people love to spread out all the pieces and flip them all over. I guess if I could find a third jigsaw puzzle that was similar in style, I could do that as well. 
because then they just grab out pieces for certain sections. So I guess there is a third technique I could try out. So I will try to do that. I will try to find three 500 piece Ravensburger puzzles with very similar theme style and I'll try to speed run three different ways and compare and just to see is there a better technique than another at least for me. So now I have no clue how the rest of them did or how any of you did. So make sure if you got this jigsaw puzzle, go and complete the Google form with your name, country, and time. And remember, it's all just for fun. And now I have to go watch four other videos to see how Jeanette did, Juby, Judy, Vicky. I have no idea. We've been keeping it a secret from one another. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited though. I hope they had fun. I had so much fun doing this and it was so nice of them to join me on this little event. I really appreciate it. I hope we get to do more, perhaps maybe twice a year. I'd love to challenge them to a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. I wonder if they'd be up to it or like a color gradient puzzle or for example, a wooden puzzle. We don't have to stick to the standard 500 piece, you know, puzzle. We can we can diversify and try something else. Is there a certain type of jigsaw puzzle you would like to see us all speed run? Leave your comments below. Remember, no spoilers. So now, before I keep rambling and rambling, let's go watch the other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate them, Jeanette, Juby, Judy, and Vicky, for being on this adventure with me. Ah. It means the world, it really does. And I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing not only to me, but to them as well. And until next time, ciao.